So um, I pressed the re I'm re-recording now so we can go on. You, you left off with saying that, yes, they, they do um, make you young at heart because you do remember when you used to do certain things in which they do now. Right. Okay. Um, what was I going to ask you? Mm, it slipped my mind. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Is it uh, Could it be possible that um, communication communication plays a, a, a very vital key in, you know, healthy parenting and healthy relationships and, you know, keep staying away from hidden, hidden agendas? Um, yeah, you're talking about speaking as far as co-parenting or, oh, um, co-parenting or parenting as a whole, just, the, just as from, from your perspective, you know, what, what, what makes parenting smooth and you know good for you as a father? Um, yeah, communication is a big part of it. Um, especially when it comes to co-parenting, when it comes to the even communicating with your children, um, that's a big part of it because um, <clears throat> that personality plays a part too. Because it's just like um, I have um, like my, my oldest daughter. Communicates with me well. Um, that's the one that I don't have with my wife. Okay. And she's more like a daddy's girl. Okay. And um, me and her mother had a hard time co-parenting at one point. And um, you know, we getting it together. So um, communication plays a big part. And like my oldest son, he's getting to the point. I guess um, you know, he used to talk to me all the time. Now I think he's getting into his teenage years and uh, I guess there's certain things he's um, kind of secretive about. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know, it might be a thing where it might not be cool to let your father know everything in these years. He's kind of... Um, or, or maybe but, he's still trying to figure himself out because I know I'm pretty much like that where if I haven't figured out what it is exactly I'll keep it to myself until I figure it out and then able to talk about it yeah and it could be him um, going into his own independence okay so cause he's like the type that I guess try, wants to um, I guess figure things out for himself first and then come to me and you know like that I saw this problem you ain't gotta worry or, you know so it's just different personalities okay I love that you said that your first daughter is a daddy's girl. This is something that, um, you know, there's a lot of fatherless sons and daughters. What would you say to, you know, the girls out there who do not have fathers to help give them that information that you so give your, your daughter? You know, because you, girls are hard headed and hearing it from me, it's like I'm I'm another woman. So I'm, me telling them to be celibate or me telling them to do certain things is going in one ear and out the other. But as a man, what information would you give to that girl or the woman? Uh, be a leader, not a follower. Um, peer pressure is nothing because um, the, the people that are in your life. Or, or as far as your peers or so-called friends, um, nine out of ten of them is not going to be around okay. through your whole adulthood. And, and the decision that you make as a youngster is going to affect your adulthood. Like, bottom line. And it's just like, you know, if these people are not willing to go down and face the repercussions and the consequences with you, then they're not worth... Um, around or listening even listening to you. okay what advice I, I love that that was great what advice would you give to the young fellas out there who who don't have fathers in their life what would you tell them um to let that motivate you as much as possible because my biological father wasn't in my life I had a stepfather a wonderful stepfather so I had a father figure mm -hmm. but let it motivate you because everything that my biological father didn't do, I do. Or everything, everything that he didn't do, I I basically do the opposite. Right, I love for, it for my children. So it's just like, um, as a man, try to be as productive as possible. So when you do have your own children, then you know you can break that mold or whatever. You break that chain. Okay. You don't you don't let that stop you from being a man. Always try to be better than um than the better father, regardless whether he's in or out your life. Always try to uh, take it up a notch. Okay.
okay my next question is what would you say for the so-called deadbeat fathers what do you think the reason because there are multiple of, of uh, multiple reasons of course that we know what advice would you give to those fathers would you give to the dead meat deadbeat moms and when you tell them uh, pretty much the same thing and and to them it's almost like um if you took the time and you went through the labor pains and all the aggravation of pushing these people out your body like you know how could you you know you and, and the mother's supposed to be the nurturers mm-hmm I love that. There was something else that I wanted to um, say. All right, right, right. What do you think about the child support system? Do you think it ca- it, it's more damaging than, than helpful? Um, yeah, yeah. From my point of view, being as though I'm in the system myself, it's almost like um, I think it should be some type of investigation. I don't know what yet. I haven't figured that out. Mm-hmm. Hold on, right, right there. Let me check the camera. Hold on. <laughs> 